Nigeria just concluded an absolutely commendable campaign in the Paralympics at 40th place on the overall medal table. The Nigerian athletes brought home seven medals, two gold, three silver, two bronze. This is amazing. And it is a huge leap from the Olympics where unfortunately our athletes were unable to make it to the podium. Welcome back to The Scoop. Today we're going to be diving into the actually really impressive performance at the 2024 Paralympics game. After a really challenging Olympics where Nigeria just didn't secure any medals, the Paralympics have just been so refreshing. It's been so exciting, just amazing to see the insane amount of talent and determination. And here is my take on why the Paralympics team was able to secure medals versus the Olympics team. First up, we have Oyechi, Oyechichi Mark, who stole the spotlight in the women's 61 powerlifting category. Mark shattered the Paralympic record with an astonishing lift of 145 kg. Absolutely impressive. Following very closely is someone that, when I was doing my research, this woman is a don. This athlete is a don. Falashare Oluafemiayo. She clenched gold in the women's over 86 kg powerlifting category. This is not her first time. She's a three-time Olympic medalist who, despite the odds, despite the challenges of doing athletics in Nigeria, has gone on to make Nigeria so, so proud. And when I was doing my research, you know, something came to my attention. Falashare Oluwafemiayo is, is now a three-time Olympic olympic medalist before this olympic she, olympics she's won various world she's won championships and she had already won two olympic medals one gold one silver do you guys know that from what it sounds like when she was talking about her training in an article that i read with the bbc she was talking about how she takes bike and then she catches vehicle that's how she gets to her training doesn't that sound like someone that we, like she, she doesn't have a car she doesn't have a car guys this is an olympian she's an olympic medalist who despite the odds despite the fact that nigeria is a very difficult country for individuals who are living with a disability to be able to feel seen have access to resources have access to opportunities she beat the odds and she has gone ahead to do something that on a global scale She's winning world records, winning medals, but, but somehow she doesn't have a car. I'm going to be presumptuous here, right? I'm being presumptuous, but it means that the work, the effort she's putting into being, doing, being the best in her skill set as an athlete on the very best levels, on the world record, on a global stage, is not remunerating her enough for her family to be able to afford a car and a driver. What does that say about the way we reward and the way we look at individuals who put their face down and do the work? What does that say about our country and how we celebrate our heroes and, and, our, and, and our athletes? It doesn't say anything good. It says that, okay, great, you won an Olympic world record. No endorsement. No nothing. It doesn't pay enough. Oh, I'm absolutely just... I'm really saddened by it because sometimes when I think about Nigeria, I just feel like in, so many, in, a, in a lot of other countries, if you put your head down, you do the work and you focus, you will reap the rewards. And sometimes it just feels like in Nigeria, it's a bit different for us. Balashari Uluwa Femiayo is now a three-time Olympic medalist who has broken world records. She deserves to be celebrated and to have all the endorsements and to be a household name. She deserves it because despite the odds, She's done exceptionally, exceptionally, beyond exceptionally well. Her medal shows that she's the very best of the best of the best of the best globally when it comes to the Power Olympics, powerlifting category in the Paralympics. All of the athletes who did so well and, and the para, the, our Paralympic athletes, they do really well. Like they're always winning medals. What's going on? And what's going on? Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Let me know why you think they're not rewarded and they're not remunerated the way they should be. And what we can do about this. What can we do about this? How can we let them see that we appreciate them and we celebrate them and we believe that they deserve better? Congratulations to all the athletes that competed in the Paralympics. Thank you for making Nigeria proud. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to be able to hear 
our national anthem on a global stage in a times when things are so dark and so frustrating and in a time when things are so difficult and so hard you guys have done exceptionally well in making nigeria proud so thank you thank you thank you thank you all right guys that's it for the scoop i'll see you guys tomorrow